So Busta Rhymes had to cancel his tour one week before it starts, and black people and black people think they the reason. Good morning, black America. Well, well, well. This is what happens when black Americans don't support you. Keep playing with us. We are going to keep exert exerting our power because y'all think we sweet. Buster Rob's career is over. He will never recover from the disrespect of our community. So that black people are mad at Buster Rhymes because he said Jamaicans helped start um, hip hop. And black Americans say they did. And they mad at him, man. So they think that, so now he had to cancel his tour. So they think that's because of them. But apparently, man, none of these people have ever been to a Busta Rhymes concert, man. This is what he said, that they, they still mad to this day over this. You can tell how long ago he said this by looking at looking at it. He lost a lot of weight since then. Cultural significance, not only as tropical people, but even here in the United States, where the, the multiculture, because the U.S. ain't got no culture. They shit is all our shit. A bunch of our shit is what makes the U.S whatever you want to call it. We still don't know what that culture is for the U.S., but it's a mix-up of all of our cultures in, in the urban community. You know, the Latino and the West Indian has the greatest influence, and we've always had, and we'll always will, and it's just been that way. So I've actually been influenced by the Latino community, which allows me to feel that much more comfortable putting my West Indian influence in my music, because they made me feel that much more proud to be like, yeah, my knees, I jump me a kind and I say it. But I'm just saying, a lot of the times, it ain't until you're made to feel comfortable, cultural significance. I mean, that's just a man talk, telling his story, what he, what he thinks. He has his own opinion. It doesn't have to be right or wrong. Why do black people have to hate you forever because of your opinion? Um... all the time. Look at the crowd at a Busta Rhymes concert. Let's look at the crowd at a Busta Rhymes concert. Look at that crowd right there. Look at this crowd at the Busta Rhymes concert. Let me, let's let's see the crowd at a Buster Rhymes concert. Well, that's a Fifty Cent concert. <laughs> but none but white people. There's a um club in DC called the Nine Thirty Club. Anybody from D.C. know the 930 Club? Now everybody go to the Fillmore, I think, out in Silver Spring. But back in the day, it was the 930 Club for, like, rap and a lot of acts that would come to D.C. would come there. Go see a, a, a rap group at the 930 Club. It ain't going to be nothing but fucking white kids there. Nobody can... The only way you can um make a goddamn rap... Con only people that can make a rap concert shut down... Look at Buster Rhymes' crowd. Look at his crowd. Look at his crowd. The only people that can make a... <laughs> A black a rap a, a rap concert shut down as white people, man. They the ones that buy tickets, man. They the ones that fill the stands. They the ones that buy the the the, the, the product out of the store. 
where the artist can get credit for it, where the artist can get a percentage of it. They the ones that stream it. He said white retards. Yeah, whatever you want to call them, um, they're the ones who consume hip hop, um, whose dollars, the dollars that make hip hop. I'm not sure that. I mean, we know we, we know black people love hip hop, but it's it's white dollars, man. There's no debate. Why would I debate some nigga about this shit? And the reason I'm saying that is because um, I think, who was that? Nick Tell Javon was asking me why I don't debate people. The reason I don't debate people because in the debate, man, nobody has to refer, has to actually be sure they know what they're talking about. Look at 50 Cent's crowd. This is the crowd at a 50 Cent concert. This is the crowd at a 50 Cent concert. And all the rappers are like this. No matter how hard they are, no matter how much they use the N-word, no matter how street they are, no matter what how real their past is. When you go around the country and you tour with these artists, man, you see who, and you see, and they rocking out shows every night in different cities. This is who's there. This is who bought tickets for them to fill up that arena. Luck said, who was that that said that? No, that's Ghost of Troll. He said, society would still call them gliders racist. The artist who's on stage would still call those gliders racist. Press one. Fuck society. The artist who's on stage would still call these gliders racist. You gliders done got yourself in a pickle, man. Any rapper, it's all like this. They're all like this, man. You want to see what a Kodak Black show look like? You want to see what a Kodak Black crowd look like? You want to see what a Kodak Black crowd look like? Salute the bug off. He says, it's a car show on Amazon. Doesn't show anything explicit, but they did catch one of the locals up to no good. Okay. Got to check it out. Salute to you, bug off. These tickets to these fucking shows cost money. Now listen, if there's a shooting at this at this show, we know who did it. But for black people to think that they shut down Buster Rhymes tour. I, I guarantee you he canceled his tour over something else, something that had nothing to do with his opinion about who started hip-hop or who influenced his culture. Nothing to do with any of that, like black people think.
That's what a Kodak Black crowd looked like, man. Look, uh, all them white people at the Kodak Black crowd. That's a Kodak Black crowd, man. <sighs> Everyone hit the like button, man. Everyone hit the like button, man. All y'all smash that like button, man. There is no debate, man. Debate what? Debate who about what? Debate who about what, man? <laughs> I'd rather just show them, man. I'd rather just show them, man. I'll show you, man. We ain't got a debate, man. There's no debate, man. <laughs> 